Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. President Putin gave a press briefing today, uh, or actually, I guess, late yesterday evening there. Uh, this was released by Express uh, UK, part of what he said in the press briefing uh, in Russia. It starts off saying, so Mrs. Clinton has chosen to take up a very aggressive stance against our country, against Russia. Watch what else he has to say in this particular comments here. He goes on to state, Mr. Trump, on the other hand, calls for cooperation, at least when it comes to international fight against terrorism. Now, notice that he states that, though, all right? Then he says, we will welcome those who would like to cooperate with us and consider it uh, wrong that we always have to be in conflict with one, uh, with one or the other. Okay, and that we are always creating existential threats for each other and for the rest of the world as well as fail in delivering results in the international fight against terrorism. He goes on, how will the things be after the U.S. elections? We don't know. Would Mr. Trump deliver on his views on cooperating with Russia? Okay, he mentions that. He also says, um, hang on, it lagged out there on me for a moment. Um, and he goes on to say, uh, would Mrs. Clinton deliver on her threats and harsh rhetoric against Russia if she became president, or will she correct her position? Okay, these are the things that he brings out in uh, some of the things that he brings out in the press conference here that he's given there, uh, and you can see RT's logo a little bit of it in the background where uh, UK uh, Express.co.uk has copied that there. I thought it was interesting though too when it comes to Donald Trump, he only spoke about the, uh, the cooperation with terrorism. Uh, and I know there's some concern there regardless even for Russia because Russia just doesn't know what they're going to get with the next president. Um, Donald Trump has on many occasions spoke how that he would, you know, he could cooperate with Russia and then also turns around and talks about, you know, be willing to strike when you need to strike. So can't really say on that. Uh, but I, I wanted to bring this to your attention so you guys could see what this was about. Putin blasts Clinton and tells the U.S. stop criticizing Russia or there will be consequences is the way they title the video. Uh, it's not really the way he puts it in there. So I think that's a little bit, you know, going a little bit too far there. Uh, and another, this is an old story here, but I wanted to bring this to your attention as well. Putin warns West not to arm organ-eating Syrian rebels. And the reason why I wanted to show you this, this is the actual video here where he says this at. They use a, a translator, so you don't have to look at subtitles. You can actually hear this. <clears throat> so I do want you to be able to hear what he says here. Because this goes along with what I've been saying the entire time. This is the type people, the U.S. and even the U.K. are backing when it comes to those fighting against uh, Bashar al-Assad. Listen to what President Putin says in this here. Who's to be blamed for that? Who's to blame? I believe we will not deny the fact that uh, one hardly should back those who kills their enemies and uh, you know, eats their organs uh, and all that is filmed and shot. Do you want to support these people? Do you want to supply arms to these people? So in this case, it has hardly any relation to the humanitarian and uh, cultural values that uh, Europe has been professing for centuries. In Russia, we cannot fancy such things happening. But if we speak calmly in cold blood, in a business-like fashion, let me draw your attention to the fact that Russia supplies arms to the legitimate government of Syria in full compliance with the norms of international law. We are not breaching anything. Let me emphasize that we are not breaching. I think that's very important. Very important for us to be able to hear this as well, just as a reminder that Putin is backing the Assad government uh, in trying to topple the terrorism in the nation that he's fighting against. And yet the U.S. and, uh, and the NATO members are backing such evil and wicked men that have come in, that they brought in mercenaries, that they brought in from all different parts uh, of other Arabic countries there, that not only do they kill their victims, but as Putin said, they eat their organs as well. This is the type of atrocities that is being backed by the West. I'm Stephen Benoon. Uh, you're watching Israeli News Live. Again, very interesting um, take here on a press release with President Putin and his thoughts on 
Clinton and Trump as the runamates there. I think he is trying to make a clear distinction between the two, from what I can see. Anyway, Shalom, have a great day. Be back here in just a little bit.